fellow exiles. Join me as we continue our journey through the exiled lands in episode 3 of Cribs of Conan. Today we're visiting the base that Trisha took over on the Great Wall on the border of the grasslands and the desert and then onto the base she created in the ambient jungle. So stay tuned! Welcome back to another video. In today's episode of Cribs of Conan, we are checking out my friend Trisha's bases. She's done an evolution of bases and we have the honor of having her in the video today. So welcome Trisha. Hi everyone. <laughs> and what I thought we'd do is start off at the very first base. You want to tell me a little bit about this cool base? So yeah, thank you for having me on. So um, this was our, my first space and I was happy to have help building. Building has not been my strong suit, so I had some help. And um, yeah, I like having it up high to have some protection from the animals and, and all the different weather around. So it's been kind of neat to have different levels. Yeah, it's a cool place to have it. It's unique um, because I don't, you know, I mean, to have it, it's built right on this side of, let me see if I can pan it out without falling over the edge. <laughs> let me see. It's like on the edge of that, like built into this 
I don't know what you'd call it, but a structure. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That is cool. I like that statue. Yeah. Right on. So, yes, so this has a couple of um, levels. We, you know, we're on the middle level. And what a great yeah. view that you have. Yeah, the views are really, really fun. And um, you can see a bunch of the different other bases of people nearby. So that makes oh, that's it neat. That's so cool. Yes, so I think Commander Rikers is right behind yours. And when right. you go down here, I think you can see it. Oh, I, you might even be able to see it from right here. Yeah, you can just see the little exactly. top of it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> you can see Rikers from there. And you're not far from, yeah. I think, a little bit the other way. And this so, yeah, cool. you can you can fit all the different people to help you build stuff. Definitely. This is, is cool. So awesome. nice. So we go up here, yeah. and what's this room? This is the like like kind of the bedroom, and nice. I store all my stuff up here as well, so that makes it neat. Yep. Very cool. Got a hot dancer here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> makes it fun. I think I put somebody <laughs> up on the roof as well. Yeah, I saw that. How did you do that? Oh, I like your forehead up there too. How did you do that? I don't know how I got up on the roof, but I think I just climbed and oh, okay. I think I put somebody up there to watch and That's cool. I think I have him shooting arrows at people and nice. keeping guard. Oh, and he <laughs> looks like a badass too. Hang on. Sorry, there's like boob shots sometimes if I look a certain way. I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, oh, oh, he's a named archer too. That's yeah. cool. Oh, he's a badass. Yeah, I mean, I figured when we turn on the purge, you know, you want as many fighters as you can right? get. So I haven't taken them out to go in battle and build up their levels yet. Yeah, but. we need to do that. I, I've got, I, I bef we need to, we should do some purge runs, uh, or not purge runs, but leveling up um, runs for our characters. Sorry about that. I'll have to edit exactly. that out. But how do you think, <laughs> how do you think this base would fare in a purge if it came here? You know, depending how quickly they um, climb up, I think pretty well. I've been leveling up my animals at the at the bottom of the base to uh -huh. kind of like build up the strength. So I think that'll help me out. Oh, definitely. So this is the first base. And um, then I see over here, we're going to go across the way here. Go down here. Oh, why did I do that? Do you do that too, where you open that up instead of opening the door? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, with these guys. So, yeah, down here at the at bottom, I have a bunch of the animals, and I've been building up their strength and levels. Oh, wow. So that, that way, at least then, I have some help with some of the animals. Oh, hang on, does it show the stats there? Yeah, this one's... So I accidentally, oh, no. like, brought in some other fighters that, like, took out my animals. Oh, so yes! So I had to, like, oh, yeah. give them back up because it took out some of their... Some of my animals, so that wasn't good. Okay, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's definitely, before we... We'll, we'll have to... Uh, wrote, you know, I, I, I love these I got the I got the frost guy came in, and he, like... <sighs> Bought up a bunch of my animals up here, so oh, no. you know that wasn't so good. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah, so if you guys, if you get these guys, even just these guys leveled up to like level five, exactly. you'll have a good. I think you'll have a good chance. I saw over here you've got something going on up here. Uh, what what was the inspiration or what was the thought process of over here? So I was trying to over here get some more. Um, some more um, crafting stations to uh -huh. craft additional things and originally it was just my um, my um, what's it called the the gosh what's the word I'm looking for these guys with the cat oh the, the prayer the, thing oh the the priests the priests uh -huh. thing and, okay. but then I want it some crafting stations that I couldn't find room at my other base for and I thought okay I'm gonna put them up here out of the way of the of the purge stuff coming for it and so then I figured this had more room up here 
Oh yeah, look, you, you, you got, you just gained all that extra space. Definitely. Yeah. That's a cool idea. So it's a basically yeah. an extenuation from this space across here. Like, okay, so yeah. perfect. And then I did build up this frost guy. He's pretty badass. He's, I've been building him up. I think he's my highest one. I think I got him to like four or five. Oh but, yeah, um, he's level five. Good job. Nice. Like I, I think like once I get, you know, once we turn, like get the frost, the I mean the purge going out, I'll put him at the bottom of my thing to keep that protected. Yo, yeah, for sure. And maybe even, or even just, and have the this all guarded so they don't come up here. I think they like to attack anything that if like if you have a workbench, they'll go for that kind of stuff. So maybe just yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's that's I cool. Think, I think a couple of those fighters I have at two or three that uh -huh. like I'll have to kind of spread them out, you know. Right, right. This is cool. Very cool. And you have a little like a uh, walkway to get over and see me, <laughs> and then you yeah. can see Riker's base. So yeah. <laughs> and your base here, so you've got a lot, a lot of resources. You've got iron over here. You've got coal mm -hmm. and then you know stone. So you've got some good resources down here. And I know that we've spent a lot of times, you know, going down over here and raiding this area to get thralls exactly. and pets and so oh, the resources. Yeah. So right on. Exactly. So what made you? So now we're. Um, I, I thought I'd take, we'd go over to your other base that you made from scratch. What was the inspiration behind leaving this base? Not really leaving it, but just, you know, what made you decide to make something from scratch, like a base from scratch? So, um, when I was, like, going around and exploring with Harold and Eddie, uh -huh. um, I saw the base over by Harold's base over there with the water and it's more jungle area, which was different resources than what we had here. And I thought it would be neat to have a base near the different resources. Oh yeah. And be able to get stuff at both stuff, both spots. So then I said, okay, I better build over here too. I almost wish I had two frost guys. Oh, so yeah, you I do. Make... Oh, yeah. I do. I forgot I had that guy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, I just, you know, you know, it's fun over here, too. Oh, yeah. This is cool. So this but, is, yeah. I like, okay, so yeah, I usually spawn in over here. I don't know why I spawn in the water. But okay, so this is a cool location to have your base here. Yeah, it's all the water. It feels very like like I'm in the jungle. You yeah, know? I'm gonna see. Did you go like? Oh yeah, you did. Like, why won't I go down? How do I dive? Dive? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, you look right. at you. Wow. Right under me. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. The terraforming, like building with the terrain, is really hard in this game. So, yeah. yeah. It, it was fun to, like, be in the water and be in, like, a jungle and, like, which I tried to match the, like, theme of the jungle. Yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely. So, um, before, so, um, oh, I don't think that's your bird. I think, <laughs> um, so is this your, your stables where you raise animals? Your animal yeah. pet? Perfect. Yeah. Aww. Look at the little panther. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, do you have, you, you, we need to get you some rock noses. Yeah. Those birds, oh my gosh, they'll wreck you. Yeah. Do you want to start oh, yeah. like downstairs or do you want me to go upstairs? Where would you like to take me first? Um. Let's start upstairs. The upstairs okay. is kind of cool. It's all the like just crafting stuff first is fun to see, you know, get yeah. the crafting things. That's where you like able to build and get what you need. And you're right so where I this stone, um, the, the, with the pieces that you use blend into this rock here. It complements that. So really nice choice mm -hmm. on that, Trisha. Thank you. So I like have, making sure I have everything I need to like build stuff, which is kind of sweet. Yeah, for sure. 
And then I was able to get enough thraws by going around in the area. And then, um, yeah, I like this. Right on. And then oh, the patio. Yes. And then we figured we could sit out here and just enjoy the, right? the scenery. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to sit here and just have it great enjoy view. Enjoy it. Right? Right. I wish they had stuff you could sit out here and drink. I know, <laughs> right? I figured more more crafting down oh, here yeah. as we need it. Definitely. What's he contemplating? Huh? What you contemplating? Right? Look at, oh, he's been a busy guy. Look at all the stuff he's been making. Alrighty. Yep, I figured enough potions for everybody <laughs> and our crew to come and grab, you know? Yep. It's nice to have, like, uh, pieces dotted along the map to where you're out and about, we're close to you, we're close to somebody else, you know, that it helps. So, you know, yeah, it, it does help exactly. resupply. Or if there's exactly. like a storm or something, we have somewhere safe to go. So that exactly really work out nice. Oh, so. And then you can go in through there to the house. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah, and then when you're going in through here, you can even head outside and up and all. Oh, so this the inside's outside? not very big, yeah. And then this heads back oh. outside. So it's not very big and my animal's inside, so I'm not like <laughs> getting it attacked outside, you know. Yeah, for sure. No, this is nice and cozy, you know what I'm saying? That it's like, I know that like, you know, like myself and um, Faja, made rooms for everybody to be in, you know, but, you know, we usually take, like, bed rolls, and you can plop them down here, and that's not a big deal. Exactly. I mean, this is, your, you know, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And Ooh. that's what I figured. <laughs> everybody could take a bed roll and, and lay it down in here. Right, exactly. But this is nice and cozy, you know? I mean, this is, like, your own cozy base, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, so then it goes down here. Oh, look at that. Very yeah, cool. I didn't even, I didn't even, I knew that there were stairs here, but for it's some illusion, I thought it went up to the roof like that did. That's, it, that's kind of a cool illusion that you did it. I like the, the symmetry of that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like cool. this. Very, this one go back inside. Very cool. Yeah. So, so and I did it as like a one big room so that everybody could still lay their bed rolls down and still stay. Right. And still get everything they need it, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is cool. So, and I like that you have like uh, uh, latrines on the on both floors. <laughs> we would need it in our group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we That's would. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really like this. So, what did you do, what did you learn about making? Um, your own base um, doing this from scratch because I know that you know when we played this on the Isle of Sipta it was usually Faja and uh, Sexy Big that would you know make our base for us and then you and I would go out and just get all the supplies that they needed so it's um, true. what would what what would you say what did you learn from doing this yourself the trying to get the roof to line up was the hardest piece for me uh, being patient and just giving yourself enough time to symmetry line things up and not trying to rush it um, and being okay with like not needing things to be exactly perfect just being patient with yourself with yeah it. definitely I think it's a great I think it's a great first base. I real I was like really tickled that you did this, and I was like I was like yes, and, you know I just it, I was really happy that you did this. Would you make another base in this game or another base after this experience of doing this? I think I would. I I put off like this was the first base I fully did on my own. I think I put it off for so long and just only thought. So. Um, after doing this i had i had fun with it but i think like i was so intimidated to try to do it 
that like I think I made it bigger in my head mm -hmm. and then I ended up having fun with it after I did it. Nice. And that's the most important is having fun with it. Did you have fun seeing it come together? Like as like did you have did you did you just create this like strictly out of your head or did you see pictures online or or did you have anybody else's face that you try to pattern it off of? Or was I, um, was, I mostly watched like a mix of what Harold and Eddie and you had done. Uh huh. And then I just kind of mixed and matched off that. Nice. Nice. The I know, funny. right? They're all checking it out. Yeah. They want to be in your animal pen. Hi. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That's so funny. Here, give me a ride. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's cool. You know, um, I know when I after I did the uh, my base on the aqueduct, it was a lot of work, and it was surprising because I know that you know when you and I would go get supplies and we would need things. You know, we'd want to make little things here and there or fix our things, and we needed supplies. And um, the guys would get kind of like aggro with us, not aggro, but they a little like salty, like we need this for this. And then going out there and mining all of the wood, stone, and all the other supplies you needed to do all these things. Then it's like, oh, yeah, it's like I, I understand why they were, you know, weren't like, oh, hey, help yourself to anything you want, you know, because then it just kind of put off them making, the, yeah. you know, the base. So it gave me an appreciation for that. And then it did give me an appreciation for I would much rather... You know, in a game set like if it's just me myself you know with no one like relying on me to hurry and get you know a base for safety and everything and gameplay I, I would do a base but if everyone's depending on me it's not as fun um so i'm like one of the players that would just like oh, okay let me go get the stuff and you design the base and and peace out you know so it's given me a more appreciation for the guys and what they've done but exactly. yeah yeah but. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'd still rather go out with you and, okay, we're going to go mine and uh, chop wood for you guys. <laughs> uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> no, I like well, it. And, and it gives you an appreciation for, like, not only when you have everything, but then trying to line it up and yeah. make it then look nice, too. Like, they, it looks so easy. But it's not as easy to make it look so nice. Yeah, you know? for sure. No, well, you did a good job at making it look nice and blend into the jungle area and the vibe. And it's a totally different vibe than the one in the desert area, too, you know? And, and I like that you did a contrasting, like, different style of building piece and a different terrain, you know? And I really like that, you know, that you totally, you did something like new and like completely new you know on all those levels so yeah this is really cool and i like that it's on the you know it starts off on the um wa uh, land but that goes on the water and you really truly how the water is you really it looks like it's floating on the water i was just looking at that it's it's cool like like down below it just looks like like the reflection not like it goes down if you look at it certain ways yeah so, it's fun yeah it makes it like in i dream in real life of having a water property oh, like that yeah and so it's kind of like let you live that dream right? out right <laughs> no that's so true very true oh my gosh yes that's cool so that's so how do you think this base would fare in the purge what would you before we have the purges come to our bases what do you think you're going to do checking this out um to get it ready for the purge at this base it's, i feel like i need a, a few more animals and fighters out to kind of like protect the base okay on this one yeah because right now I just have just the one frost guy and he's not built up at all. Like, I forgot I even had him. I think he's still level zero. Okay, so. What level are you, dude? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, we're going to have to get in here and, on the weekend and do some uh, level leveling up for these guys. Taking them on those runs to get them leveled up. <laughs> so, because yeah. I know I have 
a lot of, you know, at my base that need leveled up too. So, uh, yeah, we, you know, that's cool. I think that would be cool. Yeah, I think once he's leveled up to level five, he should be, you know, a good badass. And then um, I noticed her for him. Is it a her or him? Right. Oh, she's, oh, yeah, she's a named one. So she already what is a badass. Is but let's see. I don't know. If she's, she's level, level 10. Is. Oh, okay, nice. So she's level. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Ah, oh. Must have been taken. Oh. Look at her. Okay. <laughs> the shoe spider. Yeah. So you have those I, two for sure. I must have been taking her around with me. <laughs> yeah. And then also, let me see. Let me go back in here. You could also put um, dances with bears. <laughs> um, okay. She's not leveled up, but um, uh, the performers are also good fighters. So you can put, get her leveled up. <gasps> oh my gosh. She actually went in the house to... That's badass. She's badass, Trisha. Um, yeah. You could get her leveled up, but she'll fight. She's a she's a good fighter. Did you have anyone up here? No. Okay. I'm just checking out. If you have any other dancers, I think I saw a male dancer. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe that was at your other base. Okay. But you, yeah. My yeah. Other base. yeah. Very mm -hmm. cool. I, okay. I see Crow. Who's Crow? <laughs> Oh no. Huh, I saw like Pro Guardian base. That's okay, where are you? Oh, Pro Guardian. Oh, you're your um your your cat. Level five. Okay, so oh, you've got okay. four. So yeah, but yeah, definitely some more for purge. Well it'll be interesting yeah. to see how this holds up. I think with the with the with the pieces that you used, it's stronger material, unlike the um, sandstone, that the sandstone will fall easier than this. So I think okay. that's smart that you use this. This'll help. And then with your fighters and everything, I think that should it should hold up pretty well. And with this badass too, and then with you, yeah, you guys should probably it you know hold this up pretty good so it'll be interesting yeah. to see well cool well thank you so much for taking me on this tour of your bases and it was really cool to hear you know your journey and experience in you know and seeing the evolution of your bases and and culminating into this base it's really cool and I'd be excited to see what you know if you were inspired to do in another base in this game or another game what you would do you know I think it's fun to see that you know us as we game together and stuff like that doing new things is you know just kind of growing as gamers and stuff and yeah yeah so. it's fun to watch and play with you guys I yeah mean, you guys are a lot of fun ha huh, thank you it's a lot of fun to keep with you too well, thank you, and thanks, y'all, for joining us in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it. And if you have any questions for Trisha, you know, or, you know, any comments, show her some love in the comments and what you think of the bases. And, you know, look, we stay tuned to see how this base does, her, what both of her bases do in the Purge um, at a later time this year. But until next video, peace, love, and blessed be. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.